so, you know, taking a look at ETH here, my, my patented saying, um, you know, when you're looking at this, you know, looking back now, you can kind of see we got those nice little wicks up at the highs, uh, a couple areas that we've been looking for for quite a, a bit here. But, you know, without the TA on here, it just kind of looks, you know, a little, a little flat, right? It's like, what, what are we really looking at here? What could we, how could we have traded this? You know, what are, what, what are we going to look for next? Well, um, kind of going over what uh, Max has kind of, uh, you know, talked about. It's uh, Ethereum's got a similar situation here, right? So all I've got on here right now is daily open and weekly open, right? So we obviously just shot right through the week, uh, sorry, the daily open. You have our weekly open just below. Um, but what did we end up doing right here, right? So uh, if we take a look, you got a uh, daily pivot, right? That we just kind of back tested. We lost that and back tested it right here, right? So you lose that, come up, get the back test. Essentially, you know, that's that's not great, right? So you're looking down from there. Um, for me, I'd be looking at least back probably to the weekly open, right? So that's one way to look at this for now. Um, what also did we do right here? Well, we have our previous day range, right? So we just fell out of that. Uh, bouncing pretty nicely right off the point of control, right? Just nuked straight through, got the back test as well. Obviously, a daily key level right there, daily pivot. Um, so once again, from here, you know, potentially, you know, targeting a little bit lower here, right? So uh, we do have the weekly open down here at, uh, like I said, 1200. You've got previous day low actually comes all the way down at 1193. Right. So uh, just some areas to be kind of aware of to the downside. As far as upside at the moment, uh, you'd really want to come back up, start living back above 1210. Uh, and realistically, the daily open, that's that's our upside, um, you know, switcheroo, suppose, uh, in, in, in a sense, uh, you get above that region, you know, potentially you're going to get uh, the move higher. Aside from that, you know, looking for a little bit lower, uh, similar to how Bitcoin has that golden pocket down below. Uh, we have a very similar situation also. Right. So you got a nice little gold pocket comes in right here about 1196, 1197, just below the weekly open. All right. And uh what also that aligns with very similar to Bitcoin, you know, how the how, how magical is uh, your yearly open right here as well. So, um, you know, we kind of just shot up out of this uh, in the beginning. You know, it's only been a few days, obviously, but this is still a really relevant area to be paying attention for coming back for a back test potentially. Um, is down here right in that region so uh another thing that you know to note is once again you lost your previous day range here right and looking at this in our previous week uh what are we doing well we're coming down and we're kind of you know just testing uh right into uh last week right so we got our high uh does come in right here about 1209 so uh so far we've just kind of wicked in a few times um so potentially, you know, we do have, uh, you know, some buys coming in here could push it back up, potentially the daily open, get a back test and come lower. Uh, but if you start living back within this range, which is just below us, 1209, 1208, uh, you know, I would anticipate a decent little move here. And and I say decent, it's only like a 1% move, right? So it's just uh, something to kind of be aware of for today. Um, but you do have that gold pocket, which is also that yearly open, uh, which also does align with our previous week point of control. So um Good amount of confluence, you know, in this region, similar to what Max said, you know, I wouldn't be shorting here, you know, uh, shorting from the daily open, daily pivot, something of that nature would have been the area to kind of take the short from uh, at this point, you know, you know, you really want to be looking for, um, you know, potential longs, you know, when we come down to this area, see how things react. Uh, let's see, zoom that back out. And from here, right, we got... A couple of things also to look at as well. So where we kind of like knock our head at here. Well, uh, you know, we did have our, we got a high time frame range, right? We got our point of control that just got locked in uh, for last quarter, right? So you kind of see how we've just been kind of banging our head up against this for the last few days, um, all the wicks straight through for our time frame and uh, not getting above. Uh, so, you know, in the sense of looking at this a little bit, you know, more than just a small short term day trade, things of that nature, uh, you know, you'd really want to start living above 1220, uh, 1217, 1220 in that region uh, to start looking upward and onward. Uh, like I said, that starts at the daily open right here at 1213. Then you start climbing above here, start closing some decent candles. This is the four hour time frame now. And you can just see it's been Wick City. Uh, so getting above that region would be an ideal area. Um, coming down to that gold pocket slash that uh yearly open i think it was what 11 uh let me just throw that back up yeah right down here 11 uh 96 you know could potentially offer up a, a move like that you should be putting in your low high higher low higher high potentially a higher low and then we'd see if we can kind of continue onward and upward from there 
Otherwise, I uh, start losing these regions. You know, we still have uh, a lot of our areas down below us, right? So I'll take that off there. And, you know, we still have a couple of daily levels. Uh, I've got uh, one actually now just above us, uh, which is 1227. Uh, so kind of, you know, in agreement and confluence with the point of control from our higher time frame gives you a couple more little areas to kind of just really watch for. This would essentially come through and you'd be living above the recent highs. Um, but that is up at 1227 uh, down below us. We do have the one still at 1167. So if we were to come and make our way down to this region, you'd be effectively taking out a lot of stops uh, dating all the way back to Christmas week. So not a ton of time, um, but there is that, you know, just below us there. Uh, we do have an untapped daily as well down in 1106. And then the main Mac daddy that I've been looking for, you know, down at 1038. So those would be, you know, our, our downward areas that you'd be looking for um, over time. If we start to lose some, some levels here, um, let's take that off. we got a couple of weeklies as well. Uh, 1142 is actually an interesting one that uh, to note here, because this does actually come just below uh, all these lows right here. So in the short term bounce idea, you know, if we were to really start making our way down to the downside and coming down 1141, uh, potentially a nice little bounce opportunity here. Um, once again, you'd be, you know, just just coming through and clearing, clearing the roster. Uh, and this would take us all the way back down to Monday, uh, 28th of November's lows. Right. So uh, definitely an area to kind of keep on your chart, stay alert with. Um, but otherwise, yeah, short term, really looking to see if we get a bounce off that 1196. Like I said, that's yearly open. Um, previous weak point in control, you've got a uh, gold pocket there as well. So, I mean, it's, it's good amount of little, you know, bounce territory, uh, and then see if we can still continue this onward and upward just a bit. Uh, if we do see this move kind of continue to unfold for ETH to the upside, uh, taking a look back at last month when we ran up to our monthly level here at 1350, Right. This was where we were targeting uh, as we actually came into December. Uh, so we were looking at this on like December 1st uh, as a really major uh, pivotal area in the, in the chart. Uh, this was also coming in right at our previous high from November 10th, um, slightly, slightly pushed past it like a dollar or two. Uh, and then obviously got the move down. Um, you know, similar to that. Now we have another high time frame average uh, for this month. It does come in uh, right here at 1232. Uh, so once again, lines up with that uh, untapped. Uh, I believe that's the weekly or the daily. I was just looking at 1227 area. So it gives you a little bit of, you know, good amount of things coming up in uh, above us here, right, as far as resistance. So just kind of how magic was stating, you know, if you really want to start seeing some upside, we really got to clear this area right here, right? So get above all these wicks. Uh, for me, it'd be really claiming the monthly level here at 1232. Uh, start living above that, holding above that. Obviously, you'd be, you know, putting in a nice little uptrend potentially here. Uh, we'd be making our way up. From there, you know, challenging back up into these highs, that would be the next area. And then you'd really want to kind of reevaluate uh, once we get there. So, um, yeah, as far as ETH goes, you know, that's the, the idea is still pretty much at hand is, uh, you know, we're, we're really, really tightly bound uh, within this region. Uh, we've got some small short term areas to kind of look to and look for. There's always a trade available. Uh, if you're looking for the more mid to long term swings, you know, you want to look for things more uh, along the lows of the range and things like, you know, potentially this untapped weekly down here at 1142. You know, you're probably not wanting to um, get involved in the middle of the area. Uh, so, you know, such as this uh, for potentially only a move up to this region and then get a you know drop down. Um, but yeah, I still feel uh, I'm still leaning. It uh, doesn't matter what I feel, I guess, but still leaning that over time we come down, we do take uh, the overall lows here. Um, Potentially not this one from June, but all of these, right? So this is, you know, June, July. This was uh, November uh, and November here as well. So uh, these areas right here, um, uh, you know, would be, uh, as Max say, it would be lush, I guess, to come down and actually take through these uh, and then see if we get a nice, decent reversal out of that. So uh, yet to be seen. So really just trade, you know, whatever we have in front of us. And uh, for now, you know, it really does come down to potentially looking down to the gold pocket, right? That 1196. Do have the $1,200 weekly open. And then uh, for, aside from that, as far as upside would go, uh, you know, reclaiming daily open in the short term from where we are right this second. And then otherwise, any more upside, really want to get it above 1232. 
Uh, one area to really kind of keep an eye on as well, if you start clearing through this, uh, the next major target for me, uh, even though it would be interesting to see the full on uh, higher time frame range kind of rotated, right? Which we have. Uh, let's see here, right here. So our overall range here, right, that uh, we have in play, obviously we've met the low. The weekly is very interesting to me because it does allow for a potential deviation, right? So uh, when looking at this, you see how we, you know, just kind of took this, bounce, we really, you know, hitting our head on the point of control. Um, to see this actually come back down and hit this weekly, now you'd effectively take the lows, take the lows, take the lows, deviate the range just a bit. Once again, this is where you want to be looking for longs. Um, seeing something potentially like this, a reclaim of the weekly, that could be an entry trigger there. Otherwise, you'd want to see the range reclaimed um, up here to 11.59. Once again, potential idea here if we get it. Uh, and then from there, you know, if we see this whole range rotated uh, to the upside, you can see how the value area high actually comes in just above these highs. Uh, which would be interesting because one thing I wanted more than, uh, you know, maybe I should have uh, was to see a little bit more uh, push past these highs over here. And like I said, we didn't, you did get it, but it was so slim. It was like a dollar, um, maybe even not that. So uh, whether or not uh, this idea kind of comes to fruition, right. And you get an actual just range rotation, come through, meet the highs, actually take all these highs here uh, and then actually make a move down lower and just kind of really wreck everybody's day. Um, which, you know, Max made a really good example of this right now. This market is desperate for liquidity. Uh, and I kind of hate the term like liquidity grabs and this and that. But I mean, it's, it's it, when you look at the way the market's been moving, I mean, that's exactly what it's been doing, you know, day in and day out at this point. Um, you're just building up, you know, the market sideways. Everybody's putting in their positions and you're just wiping them both out. Build it up again. You wipe them both out. Uh, so, Potentially, I mean, we have a recipe here where we could do something similar uh, and coming up to this region. Uh, the only thing I'd be aware of is that, you know, you could front run uh, these highs here. Once again, you do have a quarterly level now, which uh, does come into play right here at 1327. Right. So it's effectively just below these areas. Um, this is a big one for me because not only is that a quarterly level, it's also a quarterly pivot as well, um, which is right at the same area. So we've spent a lot of time in this region. Uh, over the last three months, right? So it's right, uh, sorry, the quarterly is just a little bit below that. So 13, 16, 13, 27 uh, in that region um, could potentially offer up a decent area, uh, decent opportunity as well. So it's really just a little staircase of of, uh, of levels, right? And it just, it really does come down to level by level at the moment. The, uh, the bigger ideas and picture is that, you know, potentially we can come down and uh, meet that uh, overall untapped daily and, you know, to see that sub thousand dollar ETH again, but you know, short term. Um, otherwise, there's just uh, you trading the range. It really is what it is. You know, we're just trading the range until it breaks, and uh, that's where we're at. So, um, yeah. So, and then if you know all else, if we just blow past this and start clearing through thirteen sixty, uh, I mean, then it's uh, it's clear skies ahead. I suppose onward and upward, and uh, then I'd be looking to potentially challenge up uh, into uh, we actually got a quarterly up here at uh, like 14 change. I think there's a gold pocket up here also. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, this would probably be our next little region uh, up in this area, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really is just kind of st strategizing at the moment because we could very well just range it out. Like I said, wipe out the highs, wipe out the lows uh, and then, you know, make a move from there. So uh, take a look at Solana real quick too, because Solana has been, you know, making some, some headway and boom, just hit another target of ours. So I uh, just put this in the group on uh, the other day. So we were looking for one thing and that was basically a claim of 999. So, uh, we came down, uh, bopped right off of the value area low right here, right? That's a uh, $8 and four cents. We were looking for the reclaim of $9 and 99. Got that right here. And from there, we've just been making our way upwards and onwards towards a slew of uh, statistical targets here, right? So Salam is one that was beat down pretty, pretty good. Um, and at this point, uh, you know, we're just kind of coming up. This is definitely not a, a coin or a time where I'd be getting into it at this moment because it has now uh, really rallied substantially over the last few days. It's getting a little overbought in that sense uh, and coming up on some pretty big marks. So you got a point of control uh, just above it at 1360. 
We've got a, a local golden pocket coming in right at the highs right here, right? So you got this kind of coming in. So potentially we can see this push up to this region. Um, for me, I'd be looking for the daily to get claimed for any more uh, upside short term. Um, or, you know, I guess, you, you know, this is the thing. This is a diddle in the middle situation. So uh, I'd be looking for a pullback uh, first out of this than anything, right? So you got potentially a point of control over here, 1366. This is talk for anybody that's already in Solana. Once again, I really wouldn't be entering at this point. Um, in the short term, you're just really running the risk of getting, you know, eating the pullback, right? So uh, this is something that in the last few days, 65%. So, uh, yes, it's down a shit ton, um, but this is, you know, what is what it is. And uh, this is how, you know, you can regain some of your losses is by capitalizing on the moves, um, not getting in them as it's pumping, um, you know, cashing out, buying back in lower, so on and so forth. So uh, the 999 move, even if we didn't catch the exact low, that was the play, right? So uh, this untapped weekly now down here, obviously, these are all been tapped. Now I can go ahead and change these. Uh, but originally these were untapped, right? So now that's kind of gone. Got this one gone, right? Uh, this one, however, is still in a horizontal level that uh, is untapped at the moment. So uh, I bring that up because if we do push up, you know, into that point of control or even where we are, look where that gold pocket lines up with. Uh, this to me would be if you're going to be gunning for a new entry or potential short term play, uh, I'd look to see if we get a pullback to this region. Right. So once again, you got nice Fibonacci confluence with a major horizontal high time frame area. Um, that's what I'd be looking for. And that is back to nine ninety nine. So uh, do we blow through straight through this potentially? And then, you know, we can kind of reevaluate. We start claiming some of these areas, but uh, I wouldn't jump into this quite yet. This is on the four hour time frame. Got 82 on the uh, old RSI for any RSI junkie. Uh, it's just not smart. Also, you're coming into major resistances just above, right? So even though you could push up another 10, 12%, you know, if you're in like a spot market, I guess, uh, you know, you got a little bit less risk, but uh, I definitely wouldn't be making a short term trade on this personally.